so this was put on my mind to speak about so i'm going to obey god and um i don't know if you ever found yourself or anybody found yourself where they're calling out to god and they're trying to hear from god but they find themselves not hearing from god and what god had to make me realize you have to evaluate two things in your life when you are trying to hear from God and he is not speaking, the first thing you need to evaluate is your environment. Is your environment too noisy that you cannot hear God? And this consists of too many people having a say in your life, too many people speaking into your life. So in that sense, you're going to have to let some people go. And I know that's going to be, I'm going to be the uh, party pooper to say that not everybody in your life is supposed to be in your life. It's always a Judas in your group and you got to be able to identify that Judas so you can be able to hear from God. Okay. So the second one is knowing your season. Life is all about seasons, right? And with that season comes a season of testing, right? And you have to be able to realize that the teacher is always quiet during the test. God may not be speaking in your life because you're in a season of testing and he is trying to watch you to see how you move in this season. And you have to be able to understand that one, the teacher always gives you the tools necessary to be able to pass the test, right? But even with that, um, you have to know that God is a master teacher and God teaches through experiences and experiences are a person, people, places, things, and whatever, whatever experience you find yourself in, that can be a test. And we live in a world that is country. It goes against God's way. So in a sense, it may be God is testing you through this person. How are you reacting to this person? How are you going about this situation God has presented in your life? And you got to be able to understand that God gave you the tools, but are you sometimes we can ignore the tools because we want to live in the world, the world way of thing. I can't let her talk to me like that, or I can't let him talk to me like that. What God had to make me realize the devil loves, he loves attention. He loves for you to go back and forth with him. God says, be still and know that I am God. God fights your battles. But if you are fighting your own battles, going back and forth with a devil, our weapons are not of this world. Our weapons are through the spirit and what i also have to realize a lot of people call me spiritual but you have to realize that life is spiritual we are spiritual beings having human experiences and a lot of people don't even realize that the seen are temporary while the unseen are eternal you know and i'm not gonna even get all into this because y'all know i can talk but my assignment for the day was to be able to allow you to know that if god is not speaking you have to evaluate two things in your life the first one is your environment sometimes you got to get away sometimes you got to eliminate some of your people eliminate some people out of your life so you can hear from god two is being able to identify the season in your life. If you're in a season of testing, you got to be able to realize that God is not speaking because he want to see how you move in this season. And if you do not pass the test, just like school, you're going to keep repeating the grade. A lot of people are stuck and stagnant. That is a sign that they are failing the test. And they may be failing the test because they're going in the world's way of things. The world's way of things is opposite of how God wants you to go through things. God wants you to return evil with good not evil with evil you are failing you are flunking and a lot of people i'm sorry is in third grade and they're grown and they're in third grade of god's learning god teaches through experiences god is a unit life is a university i read i talk about this in my book every day you wake up it's going to be something to teach you whether it's a person whether it's a thing whether it's a place it's something but are you going to be able to get the knowledge to be able to identify okay this is god this is God testing me. How am I going to react to this? Because if I react in a way that the world wants me to react, guess what? I'm flunking. I'm going to fail this. I'm going to have to repeat this thing over and over and over again because I can't seem to get it right because I'm stuck and I'm stagnant because I want to entertain the crowd. Not realizing the crowd is at the bottom of the barrel. The large road is on the road to destruction. Why am I trying to impress some people that is on a road to destruction? But that's why you need the knowledge. That's why you need the understanding to be able to use the wisdom to be able to, you know what? I'm not entertaining you. I don't care how you feel. You got to be able to know who you are and don't care what a soul say about it. Oh, you turn, you, you must be scary. Let me be scary then. Let me be scary then because the one who's backing me, like God says, let me fight my battles. You're going to see who's scary. I just know who my father is. And my father said, I don't have to go back and forth with no devil. And you may not know you're attached to the devil, but that's none of my business. That's your business. But anyway, 
I be getting too little passionate about this. Just evaluate those two things in your life. You are in a season of testing. Pass your test so you can elevate. Pass your test so you can get your blessings. Pass your test so you can be able to allow the devil under your feet. A lot of people are entertaining the devil because they're at the they're at eyes view with the devil. God says the devil is supposed to be under our feet, but you can't get the devil under your feet because you can't elevate. Okay, that is food for thought. So when you are trying to hear from God and you are not hearing from God, evaluate those two things and I promise you, you will be able to hear from God. When you pass your test, a lot of people are in a test. They've been in the test for years and years and years and they can't hear God because God is still on the same test. God don't give you a new test. Like I said, you don't just skip the grade. You still on the same test. Pass the test. Be able to take a step back. Okay, what is this test? Maybe it may, you know what? I'm not going to go back and forth with you because a lot of people can't pass the test because they want to argue with somebody. They want to prove themselves to some devils. Okay, the devil goes back and forth for people. Not God. Realize these spirits. Life is spiritual, which means it's spirit. And not every spirit is of a God. Okay.